Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. On November 4th, Kyungi Province revealed its largest budget draft in history for the year 2020. The most significant factors for such an increase were allocations for welfare and the environment. The total amount of the budget proposed for next year is 27.32 trillion Korean won. This represents a 10.9% increase over this year's budget. In a press conference, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung explained that next year's budget was planned based on the principle that fair society changes people's lives. Kyungi plans to focus its spending on five key fields resident ownership, welfare, innovation, cleanliness, and safety. This focus entails notable increases in allocations for welfare and the environment. For the first time in Kyungi's history, welfare allocations exceed 10 trillion Korean won. This includes 105.4 billion Korean won for youth basic income payments, 29.6 billion Korean won for postnatal care support, and 19.8 billion Korean won for school uniform cost support, as well as new youth transportation cost support. 우리 사회에서 가장 힘든 계층이라고 할수 있는 청년 또 청소년 세대들에게 교통비 부담을 완화해 드리려고 합니다. Environment allocations increased 77.2% to 1.22 trillion Korean won. Of particular note, allocations for diesel vehicle exhaust control programs, electric vehicle purchase support programs, and micro dust reduction programs increased significantly. Education allocations include 261.8 billion Korean won for programs that will be implemented in cooperation with the Kyungi Provincial Assembly and the Kyungi Provincial Office of Education. Kyungi Province's budget for 2020 will be reviewed by the Kyungi Provincial Assembly during its 340th regular session that began on November 5th. In order to enable electric scooter riders to use bicycle paths, which is currently not permitted, and help alleviate traffic congestion, Kyungi Province launched a program to substantiate the effectiveness of such usage. According to the Road Traffic Act, electric scooters are classified as motor-powered cycles and thus not permitted on bicycle paths. Moreover, scooter riders require licenses and helmets. However, these regulations are generally not followed. The use of electric scooters is now permitted on designated bicycle path sections in Kyungi Province. For this program, two bicycle path sections from Dongtan Station in Hwasong City will be open for one year, one path now and the other next year, for use by licensed electric scooter riders who are over 18 years of age. Electric scooter rental services also opened at Dongtan Station and nearby apartment complexes with rental fees of 850 Korean won for the first five minutes and 100 Korean won for each minute thereafter. This substantiation program was launched following its selection by the central government as a timed regulation exemption program referred to as a regulation sandbox. Through the substantiation program, the outlook is favorable for the revision of regulations to enable electric scooter usage on bicycle paths while mitigating travel on crowded buses.
In cooperation with the Korean Red Cross, Gyeonggi Province launched a fundraising initiative to help livestock farms affected by African swine fever. Individuals or organizations wishing to participate may do so by making donations to a Red Cross bank account by November 23rd. With a total donation goal of 1 billion Korean won, the collected funds will be used to provide affected farms with customized support through the related executive committee. Gyeonggi Province won top honors at the 54th Korean National Skills Competition held in Pusan this past October. On November 4th, after winning 8 gold, 10 silver and 17 bronze medals to become the overall event winner, the 153 members of the Gyeonggi team were disbanded at a ceremony held at Island Castle in Weejungbu City. During the ceremony, Gyeonggi Province Vice Governor Lee Hwa Soon asserted that the province will endeavor to identify and cultivate skilled individuals. The Gyeonggi Province Special Judicial Police recently discovered that, while the province suffers from the effects of African swine fever, meat products have been smuggled past quarantine and distributed locally. Some of the smuggled products were found to have originated from China, another region affected by African swine fever. In a food shop in Ansan City, a large quantity of sausage products with foreign labels are discovered in a refrigerator. When asked about their country of origin, the subject is unable to answer. This is how personally smuggled products are sold. Smuggled products are sold at low prices since they are brought in without duty. They pose serious potential health risks since their sources are unknown. Despite continuous crackdowns on imported food shops during the African swine fever outbreak, such illegal activities have not diminished. Out of 154 food shops inspected, smuggled items were found at 26. There were a large number of products from other regions affected by African swine fever, including Russia and China. The apprehended shops included one that had been fined for the same offense this past May. 양돈 농가에 계시는 외국인들이 있습니다. 그분들이 검역 절차를 밟지 않은 축산물을 가지고 양돈 농가에 들어갈 경우에 양그 양돈 농가에서 아프리카 돼지 열병이 발생할 우려가 있는 것이죠. Gyeonggi Province revealed that the farms in question are now being investigated by the police. Foreign food products without Korean labels are likely to be smuggled goods. Those who report such products are entitled to rewards based on related regulations. The 340th regular session of the Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly has begun a 46-day run that will include administrative audits and budget reviews. The 340th regular session began on November 5th and will end on December 20th. 지난 시간을 돌아보고 새로운 한 해를 준비하는 가장 중요한 시기라고 할수 있습니다. The period from November 11th to 24th is allocated for administrative audits. All provincial offices and organizations will be audited. This regular session will also see the review of the administration's budget draft for next year, which amounts to 27.32 trillion Korean won, a 10.9% increase over this year's budget. During the session, a total of 40 items, including a number of ordinance drafts, will also be reviewed. The first general meeting held on November 5th saw five-minute speeches by assembly members who presented diverse proposals. 공공기관의 원활한 업무 수행을 위해 정원 제한 조항을 삭제한 경기도 의회의 선의가 악용되지 않기를 바라며 공공기관의 경영 합리화와 효율성을 높이기 위해 지평부가 자율적인 조치를 취할 것을 다시 한번 강력히 촉구합니다. 주거 빈곤의 전 아동들이 건강하고 안전한 주거 환경을 보장받고 차별 없는 삶으로 진입할 수 있는 실질적인 주거 사다리 구축을 위하여 물리적 주거 안정과 더불어 심리 사회적 안정 및 종합적인 주거 복지 향상을 위한 대책 마련이 시급합니다. This session of the Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly also includes administrative inquiries on November 6th and 7th.
The 340th regular session of the Kyungi Provincial Assembly saw administrative inquiries by Assembly members during its second general meeting. Inquiries included questions regarding farmer basic income. An Assembly member asked about the introduction time frame for farmer basic income as an expansion of the youth basic income that has already been introduced by Kyungi Province. Referring to other autonomous bodies that provide farmer basic income per household, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung answered that the province will introduce it per person by the second half of next year. 내년 하반기 정도에 좀 시행을 추경을 통해서 한번 해 빠르게 한다면 좀 선별적으로 해볼 계획을 가지고 있고. There was also a question about the role of Kyungi Province in Phase Three New Town Development. 그 삼기 신도시는 대부분이 우리 경기도 내에서 조성하게 돼서 어, 주민들의 그큰 반발이 지금 예상이 되고 있거든요. 자, 이에 대한 그 지사님의 의견은 어떻습니까? 삼기 신도시는 우리 경기도에서 국토부와 많이 협의도 했고 우리가 요구도 많이 했고 해서 기반 시설 문제라든지 뭐 산업 단지나 이런 그 일자리를 만드는 거라든지 이런 문제들은 좀 많이 이전보다는 개선됐다고 생각합니다. Inquiries also included general administrative issues. The administrative inquiry session was followed by diverse proposals on administrative matters presented by assembly members during their five-minute addresses. Administrative inquiries by Kyungi Provincial Assembly members ended on November 7th. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.